I'm in my car and I'm about to go into my Annie Sloan Chalk Paint Stockist. And this store, it's called Red Hill Home. And it is so cute in there. If you like farmhouse, painted furniture, cottage style, just really beautiful, lush feeling interiors. This place is beautiful and very inspirational. And they carry all the great Annie Sloan paints. I like to shop local when I can. They're about a half hour from my house. So I like to shop local when I can. You can buy it online. Um, at the rate I'm going, I need to become a wholesaler myself. But for now, this is where I buy it and I'm gonna show you the shop. One side is house special interiors on the other side is Red Hill home and they're connected in the middle and they're both really really beautiful you can see how cute even it is at the entrance I love the screen doors when you walk in, so cute. And they have a mix of vintage, new, painted, and unpainted pieces that are just the wood. And it's just such a great mix. It's kind of how I like to do at my house. It gives it such a layered feel. I love all their botanical prints. They have beautiful table linens, artwork, little painted piece up there is so cute. I love the tassels on these runners. Who doesn't love a good tassel? Gorgeous red hutch. And there's one of those runners again. I love the mix of the moss and greenery with the wood and the galvanized pieces. Such a nice earthy mix. And these cane back chairs, you'll see a couple of them through here, really popular. I adore that produce sign. I don't think it's for sale, but it's just my favorite piece in there probably. And you can see where they left the wood and painted the base of that table. Plenty of chippy white goodness. This is very similar to that French country cabinet I have and it's really what convinced me to paint it. Again, some of the natural wood mixed in with some cute pieces. And here's an unpainted cabinet. But there's something interesting on the bottom of this cabinet. There is a painted piece. But I didn't see any doors or drawers on it, so I don't know how practical it would be for home. But a neat idea to mix two different pieces. We call that Franken furniture around here and we've done it many times, but it really gives a neat look. Again, mixing in the new pieces with the painted and the vintage and the, the patinaed. Gorgeous fabrics. And Annie Sloan, which I didn't realize, has a line of fabric, which I'll show you over here in a minute. Love this pink. So, so pretty. And here's all the great paints. And this is where I get in trouble because it's like a kid in a candy store. There's all the colors. I just want one of everything, please. 
the color palette is just so perfect for the style that I love. And here's the fabrics. They're a linen blend and all her great brushes. All the painted sample boards can give you an idea of what you're wanting to do with the different colored waxes on them or clear waxes. So you can really get what you're after on your piece of furniture. And over on this side, they have these painted white shelves that always just remind me why I love white so much because they're so simple but the white on them it just makes everything that's put on them just look cohesive just look so good of course we wouldn't merchandise it like this in our house but you would put the greenery and then some dishes possibly or linens or books and there's a bigger overview of the store. It's got just such a cozy feel in there. Here's a gray painted table and I see these tables really regularly on Facebook Marketplace. Not painted, of course. Usually you're the one that has to do that. These doors I am obsessed with, you guys. If I could find these doors, They've been there as long as they've had this shop and they are a showstopper for me. And now walking into the other side, which still has furniture and home uh, accessories and stuff, home decor. Oh, love the twig wreath. Don't even ask me about how I passed up on one at an estate sale. We won't go there, but there is some boutique clothing over here. Look at the chippiness on that table. What a neat base. Looks like a concrete. It's just those unique types of, piece of pieces of furniture that really make your home custom to you, you know, and make it stand out and different. There's more of the white shelves. Again, they just look good with anything on them. Any colors, any kinds of plants. And I like how they just casually put the drape on the bottom of the register checkout place there. Just everything is done so cute. Beautiful urn ideas, urn arrangements. This little set was so cute. I actually bought that out of office shirt. I thought it was so cute. I bought it at a different time because I'm gonna show you my little haul at the end of this. lamps and picture frames and sort of the the raw oak looking shelves again another one of those cane back chairs and there it is painted in a gray very popular right now so pretty very French country looking or European farmhouse is the one that's coming on strong and kind of replacing French country it's more European farmhouse, country farmhouse. And another sort of chateau cabinet, I like to call them, with the blue, the Louis blue. And all the white just pops beautifully on that blue, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. 
looks like original hardware gets a new life here that big pottery lamp is beautiful I've been on the hunt for some of those for quite some time thrifted of course <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever score that, but I just might. More cute um, boutique clothing, which anymore I'm shopping at flea market boutiques and boutiques like this. I don't buy as many clothes, but I find that these boutique clothing and I'll catch them when they're on sale and I find that they fit better. They are way more cute. I mean, it's easy just to throw on a t-shirt and look cute because they're not just blah. So just a pair of jeans or a skirt and some of these cute boutique tops and cardigans. And it's just, you can look pulled together pretty quick, which is what I like. I would rather focus on the decor. And I loved this dresser done part wood and part gray. I thought that was really neat. Again, getting ready for summer. These little bags, little purses are adorable. And of course, back to the gorgeous urn. Okay, so let me show you what I got in there. First, I got this really cute stamp kit. It's vintage office, has all these stamps in it. And it was on clearance for $5 and it's got the ink pad in there and everything. So I thought that was super cute and I could find something to use it for. And then I got a color chart, even though I have a paint color chart, I just decided to grab another one. I did go ahead and get one of her, one of Annie Sloan's brushes. This is the medium. I have that big china cabinet to do, so I'm gonna use this, try that out. I have some other brushes that I like, but I haven't tried hers, so I think I'm gonna try them. I got a Paris gray. I got a Chicago gray. I got an old white. And I got a, where did it go? I got an original white. They're each, it's amazing how many different whites there are. And then I get in there and of course, this Emile. Ooh, how pretty is that purple? It must be a spring thing, but I'm loving purple. And this Louis blue, and that one last cabinet that I showed, they had painted it white with that blue on the inside. It was gorgeous. And then I just went ahead and got, whoops, I went ahead and got a large clear wax, which I only have small ones and a lot of them are colored. So. That was my haul from Red Hill Home. So now I'm just gonna show a few things that I painted and got ready to put in the shop. This was a plastic um, bucket that I had gotten at an estate sale. And it looks better in the picture than it did in person. It looked fairly plastic, but it did have a texture. So I thought it would be fun to paint it that pink that you saw in the store on that dresser. I had a smaller can of that pink and I was really wanting to try it out on something. So I thought this would be as good as anything out in the garden, that pink would look really cute. I went ahead and painted over the metal parts and then I was able to just wet distress, sort of use a wet rag to wipe over them before they were completely dry. And you'll see how that ended up turning out. Next was the wooden bread box and chippy white with a grain sack stripe on that. Next were these wooden lamps. Mm -hmm. 
And I used the Annie Sloan paint on these, the chalk paint. I just taped off the brass areas. Everyone is kind of looking for the chippy white neutral lamps with like a burlap shade or something like that. Just giving you nice texture. I just love the way the specialty paints go on. It's just so, come so far from the latex paint, which I used to use back in the day. I used to have to prime and sand and do all these things. Probably why I get so excited about these paints now because I know what it used to be and did a little bit of distressing, just a light distressing. And then I had this little table that I had bought at an estate sale and I used Ingle Nook Green from this little shop here. That's the Fusion Mineral Paint and I'm gonna show you more of that shop on another day. And then again, the Chateau Cabinet, I call it. And it did get painted and put in the booth and just a few pictures of the booth as it comes along. Thanks for joining me here at Free Range Cottage. Come back again for more styling and home decor.